Home Assistant has lots of different cards and ways to build out and customize your dashboard to make it your own. But the built-in stock cards don't always have quite everything covered. So today I'm going to show you some of my favorite cards and integrations from the community to help you level up your smart home dashboard. The first card in our list is all about maximizing how we display statistics and trends in our dashboard. Mini Graph Card is an extremely customizable card with tons of different options for displaying graphs and charts in pretty much any way you can think of, with everything from the color, the number of entities, the type of graph, text, and so much more. It does require a bit of YAML to use, but the options are well documented with some useful examples given so that intermediate users shouldn't have any issues getting it up and running. I use these mostly for displaying temperature and humidity history in each of my rooms, but equally you could use them for light level, network throughput, disk usage, and pretty much anything you want to be able to check statistics and history on. Mini Graph Card has got you covered. The next card on our list, or rather cards, is none other than Mushroom Cards. These are a collection of useful minimalist style cards created by Paul, who is a front end developer for Home Assistant that can be used for a wide variety of different entity types, from lights to alarms to covers to fans. Mushroom can pretty much be used to create an entire beautiful looking dashboard pretty quickly. I actually made an entire guide on creating a dashboard start to finish using just Mushroom, which I'll link down below. But the thing I really do like is that all of the cards are configured right from the UI without any coding needed, making this really accessible for all experience levels and it can get you a really nice looking dashboard. Number three on the list is a fairly new addition actually, having just been released a few weeks ago, but it's been gathering some good momentum across various communities, which is cool. It is another collection of cards called Bubble Cards. Bubble Cards feature cards for entities like buttons, sliders for lights and covers, cover cards, and a few others. But the main feature is the pop-up card, which creates this really nice looking pop-up, which can be used to hide additional controls or even entire rooms. For example, instead of when I click on a room in my mobile dashboard and an entirely new page loads, I can convert this into a pop-up instead, which brings up the controls for that room without having to load an entire new page. Like I said, this is a very new collection of cards and it's still in beta, so do expect some bugs, but it can be mostly all configured in the UI and it shows a lot of promise for a new way to display certain controls. Really cool. Next up, vacuums have been inside of Home Assistant for quite a while now, but there's never really been a great native way to display information about your vacuum, like the mode it's in, how much battery it has, what it's currently doing and controls which is where the custom vacuum card comes in. This is such a great card for displaying everything and anything you would want to know about your vacuum right on your dashboard. You will need to know some YAML to use some of the more advanced functions of which it has many, and they are well documented for things like brush statistics, cleaning stats, cleaning zones, and more. But the UI can be used if you want a simpler setup, and it can even show a map of the vacuum if your unit supports it, and I also love the little animation that it does. The vacuum card is a really great addition to any dashboard. Number five is for the more advanced users out there. You all know I am a huge fan of this card collection called Minimalist. It's actually what the majority of my mobile dashboard is made up of, and I think it looks amazing. Minimalist has cards for pretty much every type of entity built in by default, and the really great thing I personally love about it is that there is support for custom cards submitted by other users, meaning that you have cards for just about everything you could ever need. If you want to make an entire dashboard from Minimalist, you will need to be prepared to spend a good amount of time on it in comparison to say something like Mushroom. And once again, I've done an entire walkthrough on creating a mobile dashboard with Minimalist, which I'll link down below. But the end result is definitely worth it in my opinion and you do get access to so many great cards that you can do pretty much anything you can think of with Minimalist, and they even have their new adaptive dashboards for tablets, which looks really cool too. Number six is a custom card that many of you might be using without realizing it, as it's used by lots of other custom cards out there, but it's a really powerful and advanced card in its own right. Card Mod allows you to customize many elements of your Home Assistant dashboard, by allowing you to apply CSS styling to cards. Now, 
We could spend an entire video talking about card mod capabilities and there's no way for me to all cover it all here, but there's so many styling tweaks you can do like changing font colors or size in cards to creating animations to disabling cards based on conditions and so on. Pretty much anything you can do in CSS should be workable with card mod. Its capabilities really are endless. Next up we have a card that is the only stock card on this list and that is the tile card included with Home Assistant. See, over the years, Home Assistant has had many different options for cards depending on the type of sensor or control you want to display, but recently they've been working hard on the tile card, which is a new type of card that can be used for many different types of devices, from covers to alarms to thermostats to lights, and the way it does this is with something called features that lets you pick out what you would like to display on the card from the UI based on the entity you have selected to display. They are based on a more minimalist design, which I do like, can all be completely configured from the UI with just a few clicks, and being native to Home Assistant, you don't have to worry about installing anything extra and having to worry about keeping it up to date or any updates breaking it. The tile card is a really versatile card that should definitely be in your dashboard. Finally, what if I told you you could have your entire dashboard set up auto-magically for you without having to do anything? You'd probably think I was talking about the automatic dashboard built into Home Assistant, but we don't talk about that here. No, I am talking about this dashboard, which was completely auto-generated for me by copying and pasting just three lines of code. Not bad, right? This is the work of Mushroom Dashboard Strategy, which as the name suggests, is based on mushroom cards and it will automatically set up an entire dashboard for you based on your configured areas. Now, it's not perfect and although I only used three lines of code to get this working, you'll probably want to spend a little more time adding a few more options just to personalize things a little bit for you, but as a base, this is pretty cool. All of the options are pretty well documented and shouldn't be too daunting for most people, and if you are the type of person who wants a good looking dashboard set up fast, but doesn't really want to spend much time setting it up, this could be a great option. And there we go, that is eight dashboard cards for you to use to level up your Home Assistant dashboards. These are just some of my favorite, but by no means an exhaustive list. There are so many cool cards and themes out there that I could easily make this list five times as long and we wouldn't even scratch the surface but these are just some of my favorites for today that I think you will find useful. Definitely would love to hear what your favorite cards are down in the comments. Share them with me and the community so that we can all benefit and have sick looking dashboards together. That would be really cool. Like I say, we are just scratching the surface here. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you found it useful. Please drop this video a like and get subscribed if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.